Hey guys, welcome back to the Mama Monologues. Today we are going to be talking about our June favorites. Okay, so my June favorites, I'm gonna start with um, one that I've been using for just this pregnancy. Um, it's it's the Basque NYC brand of stretch mark butter. Um, it's really, really, really good. This, well, maybe it was a sales pitch, I don't know. But they told me, and I bought it, um, they told me that this was the only stretch mark cream, or one of the only stretch mark creams, that's actually been proven. Um, yeah, it's it was proven to um, not only prevent, but to like help diminish other stretch marks. And I do have a couple stretch marks on my sides, like three on each side from when I had Drew, and just from before that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have a, I've had them like since eighth grade. But I have been using this, and they really have got, gotten lighter in color, because they were getting kind of purple, and now they're back getting lighter in color. So I would really recommend this. It's a little bit on the pricey side. If you don't have stretch marks already and you're not prone to getting them, I probably wouldn't spend this much money on it. I think that this was $30 or $35 and it really didn't last me that long, maybe two or three months. Can I smell it? Is it yeah. Okay? Well, there's none left. But, like, but yeah, you can smell it. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really, really good. It smells good. like essential oil. So yeah, I mean, if, if it's something you can afford, buy it, but if it's not something that you if you're not really afraid of stretch marks because you didn't get them with past pregnancies, it's your decision on how much money you want to spend on Where'd it. Where'd you get it? I got that at um, Destination Maternity. And I also bought the oil, but I wouldn't recommend the oil as much because to me it seems more, um, like it says on the back that it's used to relax the senses. Um, and it says use as a moisturizer on your pulse points also. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if I would use this necessarily for stretch marks. I like it as like a calming like relief thing, but. Almost like that spray you had with Drew, the anti itch yeah. spray. Yes, that's, yeah. So um, I don't know if this works as well for the stretch marks. I, I think probably bio oil, but. Okay, so that's my pregnancy favorite for June. Um, another thing that I've been loving. It's my like favorite makeup thing. It's called What's Up and it's by Benefit. And it's a highlighter. It's so good. I just use it on my cheekbones and, and on the corners of my eyes just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And it's really, really been like one of my favorite beauty products ever, I think. Yeah. It looks really pretty. Yeah. I missed it before. Yeah, so I love this. Last one is just this wide tooth comb. Carissa, um, and I went and had our hair done by one of our good friends and um, one of the ladies there curled my hair and then she just showed me how to brush it out with a wide tooth comb and I never knew. Her hair looked so pretty that day. Yeah. It really did look well, I did good. No, so I know, just act like it looks good. <laughs> no, it does, yeah. but like, but compared to when you Today it looks used crappy. to. Yeah. <laughs> but on that day. On that day it looked really good. <laughs> no, but compared to when you used to like yeah, I mean, I would just mm -hmm. curl it in and then kind of run my fingers through. But this like actually makes it like yeah, give it more, pretty. gives it a a specific yeah. wave of its it own. It looks like mermaid here. Yeah, I really like it. So just a wide tooth comb. This one's Conair. I got it at a drugstore. The last thing is kind of for me and Drew health wise. Um, we've been putting chia seeds in everything. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream. Our water. <laughs> anything. Anything that we. Could brush our teeth with it. <laughs> Just put some in the tooth. Um, no, but in the mornings we've been trying to eat them with our yogurt or oatmeal. Um, that's all. Yogurt and oatmeal. <laughs> but <laughs> they're so good. Um, and I used to use flaxseed a lot, and I still do. Uh, sometimes I'll put both in there, but the chia seeds are really good um, because they're like so small and kind of crunchy, so mm -hmm. Drew likes the texture of them. So I got these at Trader Joe's, but chia seeds, 
They're good, um, they have a lot of omega-3, and they're good for protein and fiber and all of that stuff, so. That's perfect for Drew. Yeah, because he doesn't. <laughs> okay, my first favorite is, well, first of all, I don't wash my hair, like, hardly ever. <laughs> <laughs> she never washes. I never wash my hair. And my hair can go pretty well without anything. Like, I don't have to start using a dry shampoo until, like, three, day three or and four. No, um, that's crazy. No, I know. But um, Rhea actually got this for herself and then gave it to me. Yeah, because I don't. She was like, I don't. I can't even shampoo. go to two days without I having I just to bought it because it, it smells good. Yeah. But it really does smell good. But it's the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really light, which I like. And it does obviously leave the little white, but you just yeah. brush that. I mean, I let it set for a minute and then brush it out. But um, it doesn't, like, other dry shampoos make my hair like too textured and okay. thick and like matted um which i know some people like that out yeah. of the dry shampoo but i don't really i like to have my hair as normal and clean seeming as possible um but this just makes it feel really really clean and we've i've been washing my hair even less because we've been going swimming um so if i like just swim that day instead of wash it i even though like it just got wet i'll still just use okay. this instead of um, like washing my hair because my hair it just is such an issue to blow dry and style and it's just so much easier to just have dirty hair and spray some of this in yes. it and then touch up if I need to so thank you yes <laughs> my next favorite is sparkling water which is kind of like my pregnancy favorite because I'm just not a water drinker I just don't like it I've tried Remember, I got that um, water bottle when I first found out I was pregnant, oh, yeah. and I was like all gung ho about yes. drinking water. I was like bragging how much yeah. water I drink, and it really did work for like a week. But then it was yeah, I like, haven't seen that water bottle. I'm like, yeah. well, I left it at Lexi's salon, and I gave it to her. Then I went and got another. Oh one. yeah, but um, it was like it's really tall and skinny, and it was like hard to wash, and it was just like psyching. I don't know. For some reason, it was grossing me out. And I like to have ice in my water, so. Um, I've been craving because it's so hot and I craved like um, fizzy drinks with Brielle too, mm -hmm. like, well with Brielle I craved beer, but like just yeah. super refreshing, like yeah. sparkling kind of fuzzy drinks. Anyways, but soda hurts my stomach and it's just too sweet when since I've been pregnant. I don't, I mean I can have it, but it just doesn't sound appealing. So anyways, I got back on a sparkling water kick and I just put this with some ice and um, I squeeze lemon juice in it because otherwise it tastes like poison. And Brielle likes it too. She thinks it's like so that's special. That's what Drew calls soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like hype it up to be the special drink and yeah. she's all about it. So it's just good. I mean, it's stupid and kind of pricey. This is like a dollar something, but whatever. If you're just craving something a little bit more fun and you still want not to drink soda and want water. It's just a good little thing. It helps me get my fluids in. Um, I have two favorites for Drew. The first is an electric toothbrush. Um, Carissa had told me that Brielle wasn't really loving to brush her teeth, so she got her an electric toothbrush, and then she started having fun and enjoying it and actually letting her brush her teeth. Mm -hmm. So I decided why not give it a try. And it worked, it really he loves does. it. So. I don't know why we didn't think of it earlier. It's like... Yeah, it's kind of genius. So, um, he really loves to do this. I, I try to brush them on my own first if I can, because I can get them way cleaner than he can. But he does a pretty good job by himself since he knows how to... And it does most of the work for them. So yeah, if you're having a hard time getting your kid to brush their teeth, get an electric toothbrush. And if you already have one, then and they're getting tired of it, maybe just try to get a different kind because there's so many fun kinds mm -hmm. and like the buttons are different, they light up. Mm -hmm. If they're... you let them pick it out, it becomes yeah. like a fun thing. Yeah, so this has been a lifesaver for his teeth. Well, I'll tell you on the 21st if it's been a lifesaver for his I'm teeth. Because so he has a dentist yeah. appointment. And the last thing for him are these little goggles. Uh, I had a hard time finding goggles that fit him because he's so sm so young still. But these, I found them at Kmart, so I'm sure you can find them anywhere. They have, they came in a three pack. They have fun little character shapes above them. These are little crabs. Uh, but he loves these and he has been swimming with his puddle jumper that we had in last year's favorites video. Um, and he will now hold his breath for probably like 
five or six seconds, which is a long time for him. He just looks and swims and looks under the water with his goggles. So if you have a little one um, that you're kind of trying to teach how to swim and get comfortable in the water, I highly recommend these. The brand is Wave. Um, and it was for ages three and up, but he's two and they fit him really good. I just tightened them, so. Goggles, goggles, goggles. He loves them. My first favorite for Brielle, I don't have the original packaging, but it is this, um, this brand is called Squishy Sand, it's but so it's just fun. the kinetic sand. Um, my mom got this for her, and I think she got it at Walgreens on in the as seen on, <laughs> speaking of the devil. Mom, how much was this at Walgreens? What's that? The, the kinetic sand? It was um, on sale for $14.99. My mom found this at Walgreens on sale for $14.99. It's like in the as seen on TV um, section. But it's so fun. Mm -hmm. And it Brielle loves it. All the kids that have played with it love it. And it comes with a few like little fun tools. This all came with it. Anyways, it's just nice because she loves playing with sand always, but it's so, so hot outside. But it's been like 107 outside and I just don't feel motivated to go outside unless we're in the pool. Mm -hmm. So this, she can still play with sand and we just, I put it on a, like a big cooking sheet. Oh, so she can sit in the kitchen with it and play um, when we're cooking dinner or doing dishes or whatever. She has so much fun with it. And it's like, you can mold it's it really and it's cool. like almost like sand and Play-Doh mixed. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen homemade yeah, recipes on see. Pinterest. On Pinterest they have. Yeah, so we need but, to try it out. Yeah. The one it's thing is good. on the thing is like talking about it's super flammable and it's like make sure your kids wash their hands after. I think it's the cornstarch. Is cornstarch flammable? Someone oh, said cornstarch is flammable. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but we're gonna try to make the homemade thing. Maybe yeah, we that could would do be a video fun. on it. Yeah, that would be we probably fun. Because I think you can do like, I've seen, seen like different colors. colors and stuff, yeah. Okay, so my last favorite from for Brielle are these books. Um, these were actually, my aunt gave them to me and she said she bought them like special over the internet or through a catalog or something for her kids when they were younger. The company is Southwestern. Anyways, there's my word book, my number book, my color book, and my shape book. But they're really cute and we've just been Locking. Since she's gotten older, I don't it's find hard. myself sitting down and like actively teaching her right. things anymore because yeah. she's just getting more independent. And they catch on because we're out with them all the time. Right. Yeah. When, when she was little, we would like sit down and work on things and like yeah. it was more structured, but I just kind of noticed I haven't been doing this. Now yet. I just say, Drew, what color is your Skittles? <laughs> what color is this Skittle? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. But Anyways, I found these, I had them in a box, and they're just really cute. She loves them for some reason. I think because I have them put away and I just bring them out like as a special thing, but they're just a little bit more educational and um, they're really bright and the illustrations are yeah, really like cute. This. And so we've just been doing these lately. I like She's that they're there. cartoon characters because I have a couple for Drew um, that are actual like pictures of the things. And I feel like those probably aren't as fun to mm -hmm. him. So these are really cute. Yeah. And really bright and stuff. And these, um, there's like different, like there's the counting ones and I think they'll last her for a, a while because yeah. there's some things in here she can't do yet. Yeah. But yeah, there's kind of different activities and they're really bright and fun and cute and she really likes them and I feel better about myself that I'm actually teaching her yeah. stuff again. <laughs> So that wraps up our June favorites. We hope that you enjoyed them, and if you try any of the products or have any of your own favorites that you want to share with us, um, just leave, wait, leave a comment below. Yeah. Leave a comment below. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> and we will list and link all of the products that we talked about in the description bar below so you can check them out for yourself. And we'll oh, link yeah. last year's <laughs> June favorites down there too so you can see what we were loving <laughs> this time last year. Since we're on a roll of video making now, yes. you might just expect a new video to be Expect the unexpected. <laughs> okay, you guys, see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Have a good July. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, don't have don't. that. No, don't. <laughs> How do we finish oh. this sucker? Nothing. Bye. Say. Bye.